What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to another video. For those of you that are just now joining my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so today's video, I'm actually just going to dedicate it to inverts. Um, I know I've discussed in the last video, um, as I showed you guys, my new pickups, which were inverts, um, that I would try to be more diverse um, and show off uh, some more of my animals that I don't show too often. Um, so I, as I was actually working on getting one of the uh, tarantula homes together, um, I decided why not just go ahead and record. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna go ahead and get these guys in their new enclosures and upgrade one of my older ones. So stay tuned. <laughs> everybody welcome back to the video um, so here we have the new um, uh, plastic tub that I'm gonna house my um, chromatopelma cyanopubescence um, or my green bottle blue um, she is currently in a little sterilite shoe tub and she's pretty decent size and I just want to give her a little more room now so we'll start with her on um, that way you guys can see her cuz I know it's been a while um, actually don't yeah she's been on my YouTube channel um, but it's been a while since you guys seen her, so figured I'd um, start with her so you guys can check her out, see how big she's gotten, um, and just see how how good she looks now. Um, but now I'm just starting with um, just some substrates. So I'm using Eco Earth, um, which is my go-to. It's what I've always used. I've never had any issues, so we're just gonna keep using that. Um, and I got it kind of high here because what I want to do is try to dig her a little, little hole in here. Her. See if I can. Make her a little, little divot in there. I had this, um, but I was gonna put in there. But as you can see, it's gonna take up like more than half of her um, closure. So I'm not gonna put that in there. And then I do have a little plant to go here. So as you guys know, I'm never usually satisfied with how my enclosures look so I may end up you know changing it doing something different um, but for now um, I think this will do her fine um, because she is a little crammed in her current enclosure and then of course um, we got her bigger water dish so I'm actually gonna Pull her down so you guys can see how she's doing. All right, everybody, so let me shift everything over so you guys can see. So, here is she is now. You guys can see her pretty large now, and as you can see, her tub is pretty rough looking. Um, they are crazy Webbers. Um, so, I just wanted to upgrade her environment um, just so she can keep growing uh, keep eating and everything for me so let's go ahead and get get her in there here we go see she's flicking some hairs um, and then for those of you that don't know that I don't deal a lot with um, you know tarantulas or anything like that I use a pin so I don't stress her out too much. Um, I have handled her from time to time, but I don't wanna make that an actual habit. Um, but nonetheless, um, it's just safer to just kind of give him a little nudge here and there. And then you see right at the end, she flicks some hairs at me so that let me know she did not like what I just did. Um, but I'm glad I was able to get her over here. Um, not a huge size difference, but the tub is wider and definitely a little longer. Um, so like I said, definitely um, excited to see her grow a little bit in this tub. Um, but let me go ahead, get her some water, and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, everybody. So next we have T. Vegans um, or Mexican Red Rump. Um, so that is what's going in here. 
I don't necessarily like to keep my inverts in deli cups. Um, I know some people do, um, which is why I'm switching these guys over. Um, I don't, it just bothers me. Um, regardless, I like to try to, you know, give give my animals the best possible enclosure they possibly can. So anytime I can do an upgrade, I'm gonna do an upgrade. So this one's gonna be pretty simple. Do that right there. I have some bottle caps um, that I actually just cleaned out that I gotta get in for the water. Um, but literally, oh, I'm talking and kids can't see. But I have some um, water bowls um, that I um, have to, not water bowls, uh, pop bottle caps that I actually have to um, clean out so I can get water um, for this little one because this one's tiny. Um, but that is pretty much it. There's um, I got a few small pieces of cork bark um, that I need to actually put in there. Um, I just ordered one earlier, so it should be here later this week. Um, so I'm just waiting on that and then it will be final. So once I get that, I'll update you guys, probably post a little picture on Instagram or something like that. So here is Jarvis. And we'll go ahead and get this little guy in there. Bam. We're gonna Crack the lid on this bad boy. There it is, there it is. So I know I'm not a tarantula expert. I don't claim to be. Um, I know there may you know, be a lot more that I can add to it, but like I said, um, I am waiting on a few more things, but also I'm not a huge fan of overcrowding enclosures, especially with these guys being so small. Um, and I am still you know, learning with these guys, so um, I'm, going along the way criticism is welcome but i'm no way in any shape or form an expert i don't claim to be i just like these guys i've done my research and i'm applying the research that i have into you know the setups that i have or whatever so but if anybody has any tips tricks on any other you know setups or anything like that let me know down in the comments i would greatly appreciate it so let me set this guy aside and we will get on to um the scorpion matthias All right, everybody. So this is the gonna be the scorpion enclosure. Um, got him in here. Um, I don't want to keep him in there. Um, so I just want to give him something a little more suitable um, up to the you know the DW exotic standards. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right in it. Um, so for him, since he is you know desert creature, obviously desert hairy. I'm gonna do a mixture of eco earth and some sand. Um, and I'm gonna do a nice little layer uh, just so he can burrow. Actually, get the sand. Just now, normally I'm not super fond of using any type of sand or a lot of loose substrates in my enclosures. However, uh, for this guy, it's a little different. Um, these guys don't necessarily really ingest it. Um, and they don't usually have problems with things like compaction, so this is what we're using today. So let me actually get this open. Aha, alright, so we're just gonna pour some of that in there. We're gonna mix it up real good. After I mix it, it tell me if I want to add any more of sand or dirt, in which it's looking like I am going to want to add some more sand because the dirt is kind of taking over right now. But let me get this in here mixed up real good. Go ahead and add more. There we go. I think that may be enough. It's too much sand. We're gonna 
kind of even it out. There we go. And I'm not too upset about there being so much substrate in here um, because like I said, I do want him to be able to burrow a little bit. So not too mad at that. All right, so we got sand, we got eco earth. Now we got, hmm. We'll do it that way. And I even I wanna I wanna do it like that. Should I do it like that? Okay, well we'll leave it like that. Get some nice little little plants going in there. Mm, like like so, there we go. And that's pretty much gonna be it for this guy. So he's got plenty of room to burrow. He's got a couple hiding spaces and then like a little, you know, climbing area. So we're just gonna leave it like that for now and I'll make changes as I see fit. Um, so let me go ahead and get this guy in here. He's already in defense mode. So just gonna try to get him up here. Try not to get stung. There we go. Look at that. Looking looking real good right there. Matthias in his new looking good looking enclosure. So let me actually get his water and everything in there, which is this guy right here. And um, we'll go ahead and get these guys set into place and that'll be it. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, um, that is how these guys are going to be living for the time being. I wanted to move them all into the um, bigger, you know, kind of setups. Um, I did not show one spider, but that spider is already kind of molting. Um, so I didn't want to bother it. And that was the uh, Brazilian black. So I didn't want to bother it too much. Um, so I'm leaving that one alone for right now. Um, and then um, once that one gets bigger, I'll probably move that one into a slightly bigger home because that one's pretty tiny. Uh, but anyways, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, drop a comment. Make sure you guys like the video. Help me out. Help me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. Um, as always, stay clean, stay healthy, stay excited.